Maybe we'll get more news on that later today, so maybe you guys will see me again in a few hours. It's been a few hours. News has come out. Hey, what's up everyone? It's me, Speed Super Sound, because another video to this video today. Well, it's my second video today. This is probably the fastest turnaround I've ever had for videos, and part of me wishes I didn't release my last video so I could have included this in there, but this isn't something I can wait on. I can't drop this tomorrow. This is big. I have to talk about this now. We just got a massive cast reveal for Sonic Movie 3. They just dropped, like, I think six different actors and actresses who are going to be in the movie, confirmations of things we've already heard about and talked about on this channel, more reason why you should be subscribed to this amazing, the best Sonic channel on YouTube. Guys, we have a lot to go over. IGN has dropped a full article just packed with info on all of the new actors joining Sonic Movie 3. We got a lot to dive in here today. Let's not waste any more time. We're gonna get right into this. Thank you, IGN. We love you. As a Sonic fan, that's crazy to say. Actually, there. Sonic was never good. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 adds Christian Ritter, Christo Fernandez, Alia Brown, and more. Stars from Jessica Jones, Ted Lasso, Furiosa, and more join the cast. Following the news that Jim Carrey will return as Dr. Robotnik, IGN can reveal that Sonic the Hedgehog 3 will also see the addition of Christian Ritter, Alia Brown, James Wolf, Sophia Pernas, Christian Fernandez, and uh, Roma Tacone to its cast. God, I didn't do good on any of those other than Kristen, oh my gosh. While we still don't know yet who these newcomers will be playing, we do know they will rejoin returning cast members Jim Carrey, Ben Schwartz, Lee Majdoop, <laughs> Idris Elba, Conley O'Shaughnessy, Tom Butler, James Marsden, and Tika Sumter. And then we have all of them below, we have Kristen Ritter right here, who if you guys don't know about, we already talked about like a few days ago when it was reported by Daniel RBK that she would be cast in the movie. Now once again, and there's no specific role we were speculating. It could be Rouge, it could be Amy. We're leaning more towards the Rouge side or human character side of things, but it's big. She's definitely the biggest name here. This is large news. Happy she's aboard. This is awesome to hear. And also big is that this validates Daniel RPK like even more. You know, we've talked about two of his stories on this channel. One being the report that she's in the cast and then the other being that a shadow spinoff project's in the work. A lot of people were like, mm, I don't know if this is true. He just got this right. You know, nobody else was saying this. So I know, yeah, that shadow project could very well be in the works. But then we have uh, Cristo Fernandez and we got freaking Danny Rojas in this freaking movie. If you guys don't know, uh, he is in Ted Lasso. Such a lovable, pure soul. Love that character. He's so good in that show. I love Ted Lasso. So I'm really happy to see him here. Uh, there's the obvious question on mainly who these two are going to be playing. There are more question marks around. The next actress we'll get to is pretty obvious who she's playing. But uh, Kristen Ritter, Cristo, we got... Maybe there's Shadow and Rouge, but we're not entirely sure on that. I wouldn't be confident in that. I think that Paramount gave them these names. They were like, reveal this, you know, these people are in the cast, but they're gonna leave it at that. They're not gonna go too crazy with it. I think that they're still holding on to that Shadow name. I think the Shadow name is going to be particularly large. I think it's going to be a big, big name. It's going to be along the lines of a Keanu, along the lines of a Robert Pattinson. It's not gonna be those two, I doubt it, but it's going to be something where you're like, okay, I know who that is, that's a big name. Something on the level of Idris Elba's Knuckles. So I predict that, look forward to that. But these two, very interested in seeing who they're going to play, what role they're gonna be playing, because this is a lot of new cast members. Sonic Movie 2 did not have this many new cast members. Really the only two new ones we got was Colleen O'Shaughnessy and Idris Elba who played Knuckles and Tails, and then you had like uh, some other people who played minor roles like uh, Rachel's fiance, already forgot his name, the FBI guy. There were a few new people in the movie, but nothing that crazy. In fact, I think he might have been the only new like human main character addition. So many people from the first movie returned, but this is a large, large crop of new actors in this movie, so this is really cool to see. The reason why I'm kind of saying that this next one is obvious, uh, Alia Brown, who's going to be in the upcoming Furiosa movie, which looks super cool, by the way. I can't wait for that. Off topic, but yeah. I think we know who this is. It's obvious. This is freaking Maria Robotnik herself. Um, yep, yeah, this, uh, she's gonna die. Yeah, she's dead. She's, she's dead. She's, she's getting murdered. She's getting shot. It's over. I'm so sorry. I, she knows what she's getting herself signed up for if she did her research, you know what I'm saying? She's, um, yeah, gonna be the tragic backstory for Shadow. Um, we have our Maria. 
She looks great. Perfect age. They got the hair colored down. <laughs> They're not doing anything prosthetic or anything like that. This is going to be great. In fact, I think they made her a little younger than she is in the original source material. And basically everything we saw, Maria is more close to like preteen teenage age than she is like actually like a little, little child. Like she looks particularly young. And if they're already filming this movie and they've already filmed with these people, then uh, she might have been even younger when they were filming this. And we're going to see a particularly young girl get murdered. This is going to be a beautiful film. I please, YouTube, don't age restrict me. I'm objectively speaking about what happens in Sonic Adventure 2. So those are the big three that they listed off because like though they're in like big projects right now. But then we have three other people as well. We have Jorma Tacone, we have Sophia Pernas, and then we have James Wolk. But we still have more from IGN right here. They say the new cast is led by Chris Renner, who previously starred as Jessica Jones in Marvel's Jessica Jones, Jay Margulis in Breaking Bad, and Chloe in Don't Trust the in, in the Apartment 23. As for who she plays in Sonic 3, there are rumors swirling that she may be the perfect candidate for Rouge the Bat. I would agree. I think she fits that role perfectly. Obviously, not confirmed yet, as they said. But Brown is the youngest of the bunch and was seen in The Lost Flowers of Alice Hart, Nine Perfect Strangers, and 3,000 Years of Longing. She is also set to star as the younger Furiosa in Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, so that's going to help her already being in a pretty large movie blockbuster this year, and then later being in Sonic 3 later this year is going to help being like, oh, I saw her in Furiosa, so that's going to be cool. In regards to Brown's role, there's a decent chance she plays Sonic Adventure 2's Maria. This is made even more believable when you take in consideration Shadow the Hedgehog looks to be the biggest new addition to the film, and the recently revealed logo is an homage to Sonic Adventure 2. It's more unclear who the other actors play, but we do know Wolk previously lent his voice to Superman and Harley Quinn and played Joe Keen in Watchmen. Pranas was in Jane the Virgin and The Young and the Restless. Fernandez starred as Danny Rojas in Ted Lasso and voiced Wheeljack in Transformers Rise of the Beast. And Tacone voiced Spider-Man 67 in Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. And Pee Wee Herman in Weird, the Al Yankovic story. Tacone is also a member of The Lonely Island and was the creator and writer of the MacGruber series and wrote pop star Never Stop Stopping. So that's a very big name. They paid particularly close attention to him. One of the biggest remaining questions is in who voices Shout of the Hedgehog in the third film, but we will have to wait to see if it's one of these new additions or someone else. What is clear, however, is that Sonic the Hedgehog 3 will be speeding in the theaters on December 20th, 2024. This is big. This is a lot. This is a lot to go through. This is a lot. So first off, love everybody that we see. Not only are we have some big names in here who are from recognizable things such as Jessica Jones and Ted Lasso in this upcoming Furiosa movie, but also a lot of people who have a lot of voice work experience. A lot of them do voicing Transformers and, and a versions of Spider-Man and a bunch of other stuff. Like a lot of people have voice work in this. Like a lot of them do, which might mean a lot of people are doing particularly voice work by chance. Because Let's think about this. And now this might mean being, being a little too crazy and too wild and like making up so many things in my head and like going like actually like crazy. What if we get a bunch of Sonic characters? And like, what if we, what, okay, like just hear me out. Like what if we get like a lot of Sonic characters? Like, you know, the characters behind me who we haven't got in the movies yet. Like what if we do get a Silver or a Blaze or a Big or like an Amy or a Rouge? Like what if some of these people are voicing those characters? Got people who are recognizable and not like necessarily like video game voice actors, but people who have done voice work and stuff before from very respectable things like there is a chance that they could be bringing in more Sonic the Hedgehog characters than we initially expected I don't want to get people's hopes too up I really don't there's a good chance that almost all of these people could solely be playing humans I don't know these are a lot of human actors like to introduce new characters to where we already have James Mars and Tika Sumter we have you know Natasha Rothwell who plays Rachel and then we got Jim Carrey and like all of these human characters that already exist in the Sonic movies and then God knows who else they're gonna introduce in Knuckles who might be in three like this is a lot of new humans not every single person in here is going to be a human character. I doubt they would cast Kirsten Ritter to just be in some kind of small role. Same with uh, Cristo Fernandez and all of these people. I think it's safe to say we know that we have our Maria casted. That's the only one that I think we're certain on. But I would honestly say it's a good bet that at least some of these people are going to be voicing Sonic characters we have not yet seen in the movies, which is very exciting to say. How large of a role they'll have, I wouldn't say particularly large because they still have to focus on Shadow primarily. Sonic is the main character of this franchise. And then whether you guys like it or not, we still have to focus on the Tom and Maddie a little bit because they've been here from the start from, with Sonic. So it's a lot. There's a lot going on here. And this is really particularly massive, huge, giant news. This is obviously provided by Paramount. They gave IGN this information. This isn't 
you know, IGN breaking a story, because IGN doesn't typically do that. Paramount has worked with IGN before for promoting the Sonic movies. Like when it came to showing off that first awful teaser poster for the first movie in like 2019 or something. No, that was 2018 actually. Wow, it was so long ago. So Paramount is giving the info that they want to give, and it's about these actors. They're going to keep Shadow separate. If I have one thing I'm pretty positive about outside of the Maria casting, they are holding off Shadow. They have their shadow. He's casted. He might have even started recording, but they're going to hold off on that one for a little bit. They're going to wait to make that reveal. I feel like if they wanted to announce the actor who's playing Shadow, they wouldn't have put it in here. I don't think anyone in here is Shadow. I don't think it's Crystal Fernandez. I think it's somebody completely different. They're waiting for that. It's going to be big, and the fact that they're holding that one off is pretty telling. So I'm excited for that. This is massive news. Once again, guys, I said Sonic News would be getting big I didn't think that mean I'd have to upload another video like two to three hours after my last one this is what's happening now this is just my life and it's fine honestly that I can talk about Sonic Hedgehog like this for the rest of my life so this is cool but no this is massive news I can't wait I am so pumped for all of this this is where I have to pass it off to you guys before I start going crazy what do you think about the new cast members who have joined Sonic movie 3 and more particularly who do you think that they are going to be playing? Maybe give me like a list of each actor and who you think they could be. I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Feel free to follow my social media, links to my Twitter and Instagram in the description below. You can follow those mind things on my life, you try to end all things Sonic the Hedgehog. But most importantly, subscribe to the channel because you're not going to want to miss a single thing. Stuff like this is going to be coming out all the time. We're just getting started. You guys have seen how hectic the past few days have been. This is what the rest of the year is going to be like. So if you want to stay updated for all things Sonic Movie 3, not just that, but the Knuckles TV show, Sonic X Generations, all of it, this is the spot to be. I love all you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video, which will probably be like two hours from now at this rate. Peace out. Body bow, you should be body bow.